what's happened to them is they've actually experienced brain damage. So for a small group of people within this big, big pie of people that come off quickly, severe withdrawal symptoms can actually be harmful, almost like a concussion or a TBI or something like that. And, and being in that state of dizziness and brain zaps and all of that's actually damaged the nervous system. And so about half of the people in my practice have this condition. And it's so hard because one, many of them become disabled. But two, when their nervous system gets all jacked up like that, they become extremely sensitive. Um, if they're on other drugs, whenever they try and remove them, the withdrawal hits them like twice as hard because their nervous system is so sensitized. They might try and take other drugs to deal with the very awful symptoms they're having, but they don't respond well to it because, again, their nervous system is damaged. And so they end up in a highly symptomatic and disabled state. Um, and the only, the only positive thing I can say about protracted withdrawal is that in the vast majority of people, so long as they don't damage their nervous system with any more abrupt withdrawals or you know, exposure to toxic medications, it does seem to go away after about 18 months to two years. The, the, the symptoms substantially decrease. But what's happened is the brain is essentially healing. It, you know, it, it's like you've been pushed out right, the right, second right. story window and smashed your head and you have a TBI. And it's just like looking after your body and taking the time. It's, it's just riding itself. And so the condition has a really good prognosis. But people can get extremely sick and suicidal as if they've had a head injury for like 18 months to two years, sometimes even longer.